one year until the big dance. But first, we're going on a big trip. Three major races. Three countries. Three time zones. In 10 days. Let's go. We are now in Paris, uh, one year out from the Olympic Games and tomorrow we have the Olympic Games test event and the reason why that's so important is to get as much knowledge as possible of uh, how the course will be next year and what's going to be important in terms of the training and uh, also the equipment and potentially like the tactical decisions you can do during the race. Um, yeah, it's also marking like the fact that it's here. You know, the Olympic Games is a year away, and the time since uh, Tokyo has really been flying by. Now we're heading to the Sweden Fam Bike Fam and having a look at the course. Busy days now ahead of the race, and uh, yeah, it's going to be epic to get a feeling of what the course will look like next year. So just uh, did a little fine tuning on the TT bike, <laughs> 10 hours or so before uh, test event, uh, simply because I was cramping up in, in the US Open and I think I have to do something different in <laughs> Singapore. I was one centimeter away from winning US Open. Why is that? We, we, found the, we, we found the missing puzzle. I need to go one centimeter further back and hopefully we can see in Singapore that that's uh, the key to success. So now it's only sleep, game time, travel, game time, and travel again. <laughs> Nice to have been able to have a chance to look at the course for next year and do it like properly under racing conditions. Uh, swimming was tricky on the way back home, like from the river. I had to be having control of where we are, like sort of in the pack, and I also guess I was a little bit too much to the left on the whole way back and felt I lost some positions there. The bike. We had quite early control on the guys up front, managed to catch on. Some time there, and Hayden was organizing the group well, and uh, it was almost like, yeah, I think third lap we caught them, and the uh, last four laps was more just to stay safe, stay up front, and wait for the run. It felt okay on the beginning, but. When I tried to go with Hayden, no Alex, he was just running too fast and I tried to settle down for a podium but again the race pace there was too fast and I was sort of in the pack of racing for a middle but I was sort of losing the gap, three meters gap up to the dam and then sort of the elastic band snapped a minute behind on the run, 30 seconds from the podium or so, 40 seconds. It's, um, it's some job to do and uh, of course, would have preferred to get a medal today, be further forward, up in the field. Uh, but also it's good learnings and 
I feel we have sort of an idea of what we have to do to get where we want to be next year. Here we are, airport vibes in Charles de Gaulle. <laughs> See if the bike has arrived through the air tag. If not, I am in trouble. Oh, wait! It's here. It's here. Yeah. Woohoo! Imagine how humid it is here. How is Singapore? Uh, it's not as warm as expected, and the bike course is much harder than expected. Harder? Yeah, much harder. Because it's hilly or? It's hilly and technical. Technical? Yeah. And windy? Uh, not too bad. Okay. The wind is usually not that bad. You should have been in a briefing, yeah. but maybe you weren't somewhere else. I didn't. I slept five hours this night, but uh, now, like three hours ago, I felt like time for my biological clock was saying bedtime. But I'm sort of in compensating with some caffeine. Let's see if it's uh, working. <laughs> Number one, representante di Norvega. <laughs> okay, so just keeping it calm, relaxed. How you been? Hmm? How you been? Been okay. Mm. Felt a bit jet lagged, so I haven't really trained that much. Should I maybe try to get in a little bit more consistency on training? How was it not being in Paris to race? Um, would be better to be there. It would be better to be able to see the bike course a bit more. I couldn't do the bike fan because it didn't have, a, didn't have accreditation. But I could see it with traffic, which was okay. And I have a feeling of it, so yeah. setting in which to hold the final PTO race of the season. And for the athletes, it's a last chance to write a headline for themselves. My year. What happened, Gus? Uh, so yeah, I did a 180, but it was on tape there, and exactly while riding on it, there was like a timing line as well, and then it all came off uh, while I was riding on it. So uh, fell down, and I guess if I, if I was feeling good, I. I think I would push through and try to make it to the run and then see how it is. But, uh, yeah. When you have a bad day and that comes on top, it's, uh, it's hard to uh, push through.
Oh, it's a 60 minute flesh out run today after the race. Uh, we are leaving in 60 minutes. So just before like packing everything stuff, everything together and sort of leaving to the airport, getting like an hour running in just to keep the muscle going. So not my day yesterday, not my year this year. Um, yeah, hacking up yet a disappointing race, uh, and yeah, I actually feel it quite a bit in my hip, so I have not 100% decided yet, but I guess when uh, you see this, you already know what I'm going to do, but I think I will uh, skip Finland and go home instead. So, uh, need some uh, more time for training and recover and hopefully get back to my winning streak. Uh, so, yeah, it is, it is a tough sport to be trying on and I do really love it, but uh, it's hard being disappointed yeah. every single time you race and not feeling ready and just like being trapped in a negative circle so I'll try to get back on top again but uh, yeah. it is tough. What? Decided to not do Finland. Uh, my body is a bit bruised after the crash, and also my mind is a bit bruised after, uh, yeah, not being able to perform. So, uh, yeah. See you around, but not in Finland this time. Tomorrow, so I can do a little bit of training before the race. Coat meal with salt. So that was the last 17.3 middle distance race in a while. And it ended up being a awful one. Even on the run when I was 20 minutes down, they were still sharing more, sharing more on and uh, sort of giving me that uh, energy to get through the course. I'm still happy that I did both Paris and Singapore. Obviously, wanted to race better here in Finland.
yeah, on to the next one, on to Paris. Mr. Worldwide is done.